we're going to change uh, gears here for just a second. Obviously, this is a very sad day. Uh, everyone found out that uh, David Bowie passed away yesterday. Incredibly sad news. Uh, and uh, he, was, he was on our show several times over the years, and the man was always outstanding. Now, today, yeah, but people are remembering today that people are remembering today what a phenomenal musician uh, David Bowie uh, was, and of course, that was the case. Uh, he was just mind-blowingly talented, but in my experience, he was also an incredibly nice person. He was fun. He was always funny. And we want to take a second here and just look back at a few of the fun moments I had with David Bowie over the years. Take a look. You have the coolest hair in rock and roll. Thank you I, very I have much. to say that right now. Does he not? Doesn't he have the... He doesn't think so, the guy there. There's <laughs> one guy in there? No, he thinks yeah. he can do a little better. It's because he has no hair. <laughs> We share the same birthday, so I always You and had... Elvis have the same birthday? Yeah, we, yeah, we were drinking buddies uh, way back. <laughs> uh -huh, I used uh -huh. to fly over to Memphis, and we'd uh, you know, go out for the night on the Raz. Uh -huh. Big Cadillac. Big, uh -huh. big Cadillac. Is there any truth to any of this? No. I was told that was true. <laughs> I've read I just it. had to ask. I've read it. I want to uh, actually just, just take a, a brief uh, walk down uh, memory lane. But first of all, <laughs> just to look at some of the different characters. Liz, put these up because it's good to refresh everybody's memory. Of course, there was the young David. This yeah. is too early on. Then there was uh, Ziggy Stardust, of course. Yeah. Favorite to mine. Then there was the Thin White Duke, of course, my personal favorite. And then. Uh, there was a period there where you were trying <laughs> different. Like you were trying different no, personas. No, 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 don't do this to me. No, yeah. I don't remember if other people remember this. We reviewed this once on the show, but you were you were trying different personas that I don't think quite had the commercial yeah. appeal. There was the suave hunchback. Yeah. Do you remember this at all? <laughs> Ernie Stardust. Yeah. There was uh, the Bucktooth Wizard. I remember he was. <laughs> and then this is strange. Your corn on the cob period. I found confusing. <laughs> I don't know what. About your name. Yes. It's a famous thing now that your name initially, <laughs> Davy Jones. Yes, it was Davy Jones. And, and in the 60s, you had to change it because... Wick the Monkeys came along, and they were just getting popular when I was just starting my career, so I very wisely changed it to Tom Jones. <laughs> True story. True story. I was Tom Jones for about a couple of weeks, and just as I was doing the photo session, he released his first record, It's Not Unusual, and so right. then I moved on through... Then you were David Cassidy. That David Cassidy. <laughs> Yeah, you had a songwriting contest a while ago. Yeah. Tell us about that. I didn't win. <laughs> you know, I found out about this contest, and I'm a bit of a songwriter. <laughs> and I thought maybe you'd perform it right here, and we'd see who had the best song. Huh? You don't mind, do you? Okay, here we go. It's in G. You like G, huh? I love G. Okay. I live for G. Here we go. I'll get, I'll get you in the mood. There are so many talk show hosts. But he is clearly better than most <laughs> He's a handsome man, but I'm not lying It should be and And I'm not lying <laughs> His wonderful name is Conan O'Brien Hold on, get to the good part here Here's the good part Ground control. How about, huh? Uh, you've bust your G-string. <laughs> no, it is really weird because you'll just walk by a TV set here, and it's called the feed, and it's all the rehearsals. Yeah, and that's you'll all the channels are on the on the TV, and there was Tom Brokaw right. doing like. Over 500 accidents have happened this year. Think about that. <laughs> and then he went, then he went, think about that. 
Mm. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> You have a, a daughter. How old? She's 22? 22 months now, yeah. And she saw the moon. We've got a kind of a terrace thing, and uh, we were out the other day, and it was still light, but you could see, like, that half-moon thing. Mm -hmm. And she looked up and saw it. And it's the first time she's seen the moon, that it's registered. Right. Moon! <laughs> oh, that's a so Moon! Moon! It's great when they're discovering things like that for the first time. It's scary when they're like 28 and they're going, <laughs> Moon! <laughs> That's where it gets. That's when it's time. There were a lot of kids like that in the 70s. <laughs> in the 70s, yeah. <laughs> Everyone I know. <laughs> Moon! <laughs> You're talking about your, your daughter. Do you sing lullabies? Yeah, I sing, well, more nursery rhymes. Nursery you know? rhymes? Yeah. Do you do it in that David Bowie style or...? No, but I could do, couldn't I? <laughs> it's cool if you went into a room at night with a microphone and you were just doing... Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> do I see this one through? The yeah. mouse ran up the clock. <laughs> the clock struck one. <laughs> the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> Lovely man. Uh, we have a uh, we have a terrific show for you tonight from Thirty Rock in the IFC series. Todd Margaret, one of our best pals, Jack McBrayer, is stopping. Uh, we also have host of Nat Geo Star Talk, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson is on the show. Comedian Joe List going to perform. Fine show all around. Jimmy, let's do it. We'll be right back. Stick around. We're going undercover. Even deeper. We're going undercover. Deeper than that. We're going undercover. Deep cover. From the comedic minds of Nancy and Steve Carell. Spoof-tastic. It is spoof-tastic. Watch the entire first season of Angie Tribe.